You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Libya Palace uh, UAE's Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, upon his appointment. His Royal Highness praised the deep rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the UAE, expressing the kingdom's pride in the strong bilateral ties between the two countries' leadership and people, and noting the mutual keenness on further advancing these relations at all levels. During the meeting, the Prime Minister congratulated the UAE Ambassador on his appointment, wishing him success in implementing his diplomatic duties to further bolster the friendly bilateral relations. His Royal Highness praised the development of the UAE in various fields under its leadership, expressing the Kingdom's appreciation and pride in the UAE's supportive stances to the Kingdom, which reflect the strength of relations between the two countries. The Prime Minister wished the newly appointed ambassador every success and asked him to convey his greetings to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. For his part, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the warm welcome he had received and for his keenness to bolstering bilateral relations. He affirmed that the Bahraini UAE relations are an example to be followed in the region, commending the development of the kingdom in all fields. His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace the Philippines Department of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for Migrant Workers Affairs Sala Lo Ariola. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the strength of Bahraini Filipino relations and the development of bilateral cooperation, which reflects both countries' keenness to develop them for the benefit of both countries and their people. The meeting discussed the course of bilateral relations in various fields and the keenness of the governments of the two countries to support and enhance them, especially in economic, investment, and labor fields. His Royal Highness noted the constructive role and contribution of the Filipino community in Bahrain in different fields. For her part, the Under Secretary expressed thanks and appreciation to the government of Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, for its support to the Filipino community and highlighted the development of Bahrain thanks to the efforts of its government and its people. She also hailed the keenness of His Royal Highness to support and develop bilateral relations and noted her country's keenness to develop Bahraini Filipino ties for the interest of both countries. His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Libya Palace the Ambassador of Thailand to Bahrain, Tanis Na Songkla. His Royal Highness welcomed the newly appointed ambassador, noting the development of the Bahraini Thai relations in light of the keenness of the two countries' leaderships to further bolster relations in all fields. His Royal Highness commended the friendly bilateral relations and hailed the role of the Thai community and their contribution to the kingdom's development. He asserted the provision of support to the ambassador to facilitate his work and to achieve the aspirations of the two countries, as well to develop the political, economic and cultural relations. For his part, the Thai ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness on bolstering relations at all levels. He noted the Premier's role in advancing the Bahraini-Thai relations, affirming his country's keenness on strengthening cooperation with the Kingdom.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the newly appointed Ambassador of the UAE to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness and the Ambassador discussed historic bilateral ties and emphasized the crucial role of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in strengthening these ties to advance shared interests between the two countries. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations to the Ambassador and wished him success in his diplomatic role. The ambassador expressed pleasure at meeting His Royal Highness and noted his commitment to continue building on and expanding existing ties across various sectors and areas. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Bahrain Triathlon team continue their preparations to participate in the Ironman North American Championship, which will be held in Texas next Saturday. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed satisfaction on the team's preparations, noting that the team began its training in Bahrain to achieve the best results. He stated that all the requirements have been provided for the team to complete all the races stages, affirming the team's determination to make a remarkable remarkable achievement in the championship. He added that the race will be different in terms of the route, which goes through high tracks and slopes to add to the challenge, noting that the team had set a technical plan of the route and devised a method to complete all challenges. His Highness expressed confidence in the team for the wide experience they gained from previous participations, asserting that the race will be a real test for the team to affirm the Bahraini presence in world championships. Following the training, His Highness met with the team members and urged them to work hard to make a new achievement for the kingdom. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of Bahrain Mumtalakant Holding Company, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, visited today the location of the Coast Resort to inspect the project's construction work. Upon arrival to the location, he was received by the Chairman of the Coast Resort Company, Khalid Amr al Ramehi, and a number of members of the project's Board of Directors and Executive Board. Sheikh Khalid stated that by establishing the Coast Resort project in 2020, the touristic project map in the Southern Governorate will be completed. He affirmed that the Southern Governorate is expecting important and strategic projects that will support the touristic movement in the kingdom, which the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the keenness of the government under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the follow-up of His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, strive to transform the governorate to an area of touristic attractions. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah hailed the efforts of the Coast Resort Company in implementing the project according to the plan. He expressed hope that the project contributes to improve the tourism in the kingdom. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah listened to 
through presentations by company's chairman in which he asserted that the construction work of the main hotel building will be completed in the second half of this year. The deputy prime minister instructed that organizers to commit to the implementation stages and to complete the project on time. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa opened today the fourth Occupational Health and Safety Conference and Exhibition organized by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development under the theme Innovative Approaches in the Field of Occupational Safety and Health. The Deputy Premier affirmed that Bahrain has come a long way in establishing and strengthening occupational safety and health in various productive sectors through a series of legislation laws and practices that reduce work accidents. He said that maintaining the health and safety of workers is a key pillar in the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and with a follow up of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid praised the conference, which coincides with World Day for Safety and Health at Work. He affirmed that Bahrain's organization of the conference reflects his accomplishments in the field. He also stated that the establishment of the Safety and Occupational Health Council is a result of following up on the implementation of the general policy in the field of occupational health and safety. And securing the working environment. He continued by saying that holding such a conference with the participation of a number of experts and specialists promotes the kingdom's renowned reputation in hosting conferences and exhibitions. The deputy premier urged the participants to dedicate their efforts to emphasize the importance of applying the principles of occupational safety and health and wish them success. Sheikh Khalid honored the participating companies in the conference and honored the Royal Charity Organization's Secretary General, President of the Health and Safety Society, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, and three pioneers of this field. He also opened the accompanying exhibition, which includes the latest technologies applied in occupational safety and health.
The 2018 Gulf International Exhibition for Building, Interior Design and Furniture continued today at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. More in this report with Shulgam Hamid. The Gulf Construction Fair kicked off yesterday as part of the massive three-in-one exhibition that includes the Gulf property and interior expos. The Building and Construction Fair is an important address for companies active in the building sector and is an established event in the Gulf region. This event is a major event in the calendar of the Kingdom of Bahrain, uh, especially that His Highness uh, the Prime Minister attends it himself and always holds it under his kind patronage. Uh, it has expanded over the years and now three are exhibited at the same time and this means that uh, there is a, an increase in the development in Bahrain. It means that there are many uh, projects, uh, estate projects, development projects which are going on and people will, who visit this uh, exhibition, they will see for themselves that Bahrain is really progressing in this area. Well-known exhibitors present a wide range of environmentally friendly and sustainable building materials and techniques. An important objective of the exhibition is to demonstrate the enormous growth and the economic potential of the region. We're uh, here this year uh, happily supporting Haji Hassan Group, um, as you can see from the stand behind me. Uh, we're very proud of, uh, of our stand this year and I'm very pleased for the, um, uh, for the Prime Minister to, to pay us a visit. We're very grateful for that uh, and his continued support for the ex Expo. Uh, we've been doing this for many years now as a strategic partner uh, and we're happy to continue with this. Uh, we think it's important to show our contribution to Bahrain uh, and the fact that the, the royal family does support uh, ongoing construction within the, within the kingdom. We are uh, one of the oldest companies in Bahrain. We are established in 1976 and we are basically specialized in rolling shutters, sectional doors, high-speed doors, uh, uh, sliding folding gates and all this type, of, this type of products. It was an honor to have His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister in our, in our stall here and uh, he had a look around. He saw all our products and we are very happy to have him here. Businessmen intending to take advantage of this boom and establish business relations with regional companies have the opportunity to meet key decision makers and professionals of the industry at the fair. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shoghamm Hamid.